So one of the issues that I've heard about uh, um, people having trouble with the, the, the ivory line from, from Rosemary, and I love that line because that's, those are my favorite brushes that I paint with, especially the long and extra long flats and the extra long uh, filberts and eggberts. Um, the flats, the, those aren't for me, but you know, they're better for those. And I've, I've found that the, the extra long and the long flats and, and um, filberts last longer for me. Um, and there's been issues with them fraying and you know, like they, they, they fray at the edge after a while if you don't take good care of them. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to, to do here is how, how I take care of my brushes and, uh, and it's really helped me to keep them a little bit longer. Um, I've been working on this, I'll just turn around, uh, been working on this painting for, you know, the last week and using uh, the combination of the long um, flats, extra long flats, some eggberts, all the ivories, and then I have, in particular, I used a, a half inch uh, angled um, brush that uh, it's, uh, it's an angled mongoose brush, but uh, Rosemary has some synthetic ones that, that really do the job, same thing. Um, and I'm making that, that video for uh, madeforartist.art, uh, my MFA um, website. So the whole, the whole painting will be on there so you see it from beginning to end. But um, they've asked me to do a little bit of a, a video on how to clean, how I take care of my brushes. And this might be a real practical thing for you to see. So uh, hopefully you get something out of it. Okay. So what I'll do is now, uh, here's the brush from, from yesterday. And I'll just take and take it out of that and just wipe it. This one didn't get used all that much, so it's clean, but let me pick one out that has a lot of paint on it. Like this one. And you, you can see, when I wipe it, you can see the, the residual paint that comes off. And um, once I just rinse it in there real quick, and do it a couple times, and it's clean. You know, I'm, I'm ready to paint, ready to paint for the day. Okay, here's another one here that if I just wipe, you can see the paint is coming off of there. And just rinse it off a little bit like this. And I'm ready to go, okay? So the brush is, is cleaned and it has saved me. And here's one that's really dirty. I was using this one a lot to do the painting yesterday. So you can see there's a lot of um, I was using a lot of glazing, so you can see a lot of color on there still. So just a little bit of rinsing, and off it goes. And uh, let me grab another paper towel, you can see. So now, just like that, it's clean, and I'm ready to go, okay? And what that does is this, this, this oil, the way that I use it, preserves the brushes. The oil doesn't really harm the brushes at all. It really conditions it, actually. And um, um, so I can just go get, get going on it right away, okay? And without, by doing that, it has really saved my brushes. Uh, without that, it just dries while it's, it, it sits there. So here's another one. You can see it, the paint is coming off of there. And just conditions it really well. And you can see this brush one of my favorite brushes is the ivory long flats. The extra long flat flats I even like even better. And um, I used um, those a lot for most of my paintings. And here's another, this is the extra long flat, I believe. Yeah, number four. And you can see, I wipe it. And see all that paint that comes off? All the colors that come off there? And now, sometimes when I, in the past, when I do that and, uh, and, and, just rinse it off with the Gamsol and then do this. It's just not enough. And you, this brush now is in really good condition. You can see how sharp it is and there's no fraying going on, okay? So let me show you another thing that will uh, help you. Okay, so in addition to what I just showed you with the oil pan, which um, is a great thing for me, I have this little setup here, which is a little pan, plastic pan with a rubber, it's just a rubber thing that I, I found on, 
Amazon. It's a scrubber. It's like a dish scrubber, but it's real soft. Has a little soft teeth in it. You can you could probably put a sponge in there. You can come up with your own system, but something that's not sharp and abrasive. Um, and I fill that with water. Just a little bit of water like that. And this is great, especially if you don't have a sink in your studio, okay? So with that, and next to it is a little, it's an ivory soap, uh, a, a, a chunk of ivory soap that I put in this little pan. I probably could just tape it down to my surface. But all I do is dip my brush in there and, and then I just go back and forth a little bit on my, um, on this thing here in the soap. And you can see you know, even with after the oil treatment, there's still more stuff coming out of it, right? So I just rinse that in there, do that a couple of times, and it will definitely clean your brushes a lot better. Just take it that extra step, right? And then I'm just gonna rinse this off here. And now my brush is really nice and clean. It just it just it's nice and supple. I know that. It's gonna last a lot longer. Now, normally, I don't have enough time to do all that. So I'm always in a hurry. So I will just, you know, usually just like that. I'll just, I'll just put it in the oil can, in, in the oil pan and leave it. And the next day I wipe it off and start painting. Uh, but this is for the times when I really wanna get my brushes a lot cleaner. So I will just do that. You can look at how much is coming off, right? And then just, rinse it off in there and then what I'll do is usually I have a there's a there's a pot over there a one gallon bucket that I'll go and swish the water the clean water and I swish it in there and then I'm done okay that keeps the brush lasting a whole lot longer and it's again it's great if you don't have um, if you don't have a sink in your studio that is a great little system right there you know just a note that these brushes are they last as long as I take good care of them. If I don't take good care of them, they quickly go bad on me. So, um, you know, I, that's what I was showing you with this whole system of the oil on the side here. So when I'm in a hurry, I can drop them in there, just wipe off as much as I can with just a paper towel and drop it in there and let that soak until the next day or two days later or whatever, when I come back, I just wipe them off again like I showed you and get going again. Now, I'm in a hurry all the time and I've ruined brushes like this one here. I'm afraid to say I cleaned it off as much as I can with just rinsing off in turpentine. Uh, I mean, you know, turpin, odorless turpenoid or, or Gamsol or whatever. And uh, that's usually how I do it. I wipe it off as much as I can and leave it and then uh, come back the next day. But I didn't clean it well enough and so they start to get, you know, sticky and all kinds of things. But the ones, like this is the one that I showed you. I dropped in the oil, come back, rinse that water. Now it's nice and supple and soft. It's ready to go. So, uh, that you know, so I, if I don't clean the brushes well, they, you know, they, they don't last very long at all. And that's the, that's my that's my fault for being in a hurry. But but they should they should last you pretty well. Do a good job for you if you uh, stay on top of them. So, uh, soap and water again after you clean it up from the skin. Just rinse it all off with soap and water. That's the best way to do it. So, the moral of the story is <laughs> to take good care of your brushes. Um, the worst thing you could do, for me, I found out this the hard way. I, I ruin brushes when at the end of the day, even if you get all done with your painting and you have the actual time and if all you did was just rinse it in the gamsol wipe it off on the paper towel um, that alone is really not enough and that I have ruined so many brushes over time it just I realized to come back and after a while it just loses it gets harder because the paint will settle deep in there in in, in you know near the bottom and it will dry out and the gamsol alone won't, won't be able to do it so that system of dropping it into a shallow pan with, with the uh, oil, the cooking oil, or um, that seems to be the, the easiest for me. And it's cheap, and it really preserves the, the suppleness of the, the, the brushes because the paint is, doesn't, doesn't dry in there. You know? So the next day, I come in, 
and just wipe it off with the paper towel. I'm ready to go. I don't even need to rinse it in the in in the in the um, gamsol or anything like that. And if you have, if you're gonna, after that, if you're gonna leave it for a long time, you're not gonna use it for a long time, then take the time to wash it with, with soap and water and then you're good to go. The brushes will last a long time. I wanna show you a brush here that has this tape. Okay, this is a Rosemary uh, Ivory Egbert. And I've had, look at the shape of it. It's still in beautiful, long, um, and this is a number six. Rosemary gave this to me about, must be four or five years ago, you know, maybe six years ago. And I was on stage demoing with, uh, with um, another artist. And anyway, she had, um, she had a brush from, from, from Rosemary that had her name on it. And I'm like, what, uh, she, what? And so Rosemary just as a joke wrote my name on a piece of paper and taped it to this thing and gave it to me while I was on stage. And I still have it after all this time. So the Egberts, I love the long brushes, the long, uh, extra long and long Hilberts and flats because they seem to last longer for me. Just, just where, where are they? Let me see, I was using one yesterday, here it is. So here's, this is a long um, uh, Filbert and then you've got this, which is a very, it's a long Egbert and number two. And I use this thing for so many things. It's great for small details. I can turn it on its side and, and lay down large areas of paint too. So they seem, you know, they last a long time for me. Okay. I don't like the flat ones, the short flat ones. They don't spring enough for me, but that's just me. And so whatever works for you. But anyway, I keep these uh, nice and clean. Uh, with that system and I'm I'm in a hurry most of the time so that oil system saved me so many brushes okay so hope that helps and uh, um, um, I'll have a lot more tips and things like that on on mayforartist.art over time so we are going to uh, you know hopefully have all kinds of tips for you on that but uh, have fun painting okay